right, this is my new starting point. Uh, continuation of the 50 to 30 pound pack weight. So, we talked about the stove a little bit. Still trying to make some modifications to the stove kit. Might cut back on something, might change some things out still. We'll see what we can get with that. That was about a pound and I want to say it was two ounces. I have a bug net for my hammock, which I just made, and this weighs minimal, maybe three ounces. I haven't weighed it yet. Actually, let me get the scale out and weigh it for you. I think I weighed it in a previous video, but I'll go ahead and weigh it again real quick. Okay. I'm sure that's holding true. 4.6 ounces. Don't know if I can go any lighter than that. It's pretty light. And I think I've done a lot of this before. This is my straps for my hammock. 4.4 ounces. This is my hammock. I won't be bringing this bag. I just had it kept together in storage. This is my hammock. Pound, 5 ounces. A bit on the heavy side, but that has all the straps and everything already built into it. So I may need to look into changing that up a little bit. This is my tarp currently, and this is a big change I'm going to be working on. Hopefully, I can get it done before the uh, camp out in May. That's a pound and 10.5 ounces. So that's a big, big thing to get rid of. Wasn't going to bring that. Oh, this is my sleeping bag. I don't know how much it weighs, to be honest with you. I don't know how I'm going to weigh it because it's so fluffy, but it is a down sleeping bag. And it gets down to, I want to say, 25 degrees, which is probably way more than I need to go down. But I'm a very cold sleeper, so I don't want to go any less than that. And that actually packs down to be my smallest sleeping bag, uh, other than a 35 degree one, which I think will be too small for this trip. Depending on the weather, if it's nice out, I'll switch to the 35 degree sleeping bag and save myself two or three ounces, maybe. This is what I'm thinking now. Instead of that air mat that I had earlier, on. 7.5 ounces. Uh, that will be my inside my hammock, and then underneath my hammock, I will have a quilt, which I don't see. I'll have to find that. This is my food storage bag. I can clip up into the tree with a clip. I'll be using the strap off of that to hang it in the tree. This is not animal proof of any kind. It is waterproof. It's a seat of some bag. Three ounces. So I need to have some waterproof to hang my stuff in the tree. I haven't decided if I'm bringing these or not. Um, they saved my butt last time I went hiking out at Tom Sock Mountain, but I haven't decided if I'm bringing them or not this time. Uh, because my shoes got drenched through, and I was wearing tennis shoes. Uh, 15 ounces. So I could lose a little bit and get that clip off there and save a little bit, but not much. Probably the lightest pair of secondary shoes that I have, uh, sandals-wise and such forth. Uh, luxury item that I'm not sure I'm even bringing, but I have it out right now, because right now I'm bringing it, unless I change my mind. One pound, five ounces right there. That's luxury item. May not go a heavy one. Uh, this will only go if it's going to be pretty cold out. This is an extra quilt for under the camock. Pound 6.4. Pretty sure that's not going to go. Uh, there's my frog togs that I mentioned yesterday. One pound, 1.7 ounces. Here is my water filtration and all of my bottles that I'll be taking for a carriage of three liters of water. And I weighed this yesterday, and I weighed it again today. Ten ounces. No water in there. Uh, Sawyer water filter. Uh, Aqua Pure... Uh, Aqua Mirror. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, capsules to get rid of viruses. All oh, that's in there. I am bringing my ultra lightweight down jacket, just in case it gets cold out. Uh, I need to stuff back in the pack because it's a little... Big and I can't wait like this. This is for very low temperatures. I'll layer up if I need to. Uh, I've used this in 10 degree weather and I've used it in uh, 30 degree weather, so it does pretty good in whatever you dish it out to it. You just gotta take some layers off if you're not using it. 
uh, 11 ounces. I will be bringing that, so. Uh, oops. I'm back. Here's some stupid stuff that I'm just going to probably bring along, but not sure. My flashlight, 3 ounces. Just a little uh, Harbor Freight special. I've got an extra set of batteries taped on there, 3 batteries. Uh, actually, they're not taped on there. Rubber band on with a uh, Ranger band. Some powder. I'm going to put all my first aid stuff on here at one time. Or all the stuff I consider to be first aid stuff. I need to find my first aid when I show you that. I'll find it in a second. Gold bond, one ounce. Uh, tape, an emergency toggle as well. My toggle should have a problem. I know I could use a stick, right? One ounce. Matches in a waterproof container, half ounce. Pencil, point one ounces. Hand warmers. 1.5 ounces. I only bring one pack of those for emergencies. Never go without a compass. 1.5 ounces. A headlamp. One ounce. I'm gonna put both these on here because I use them in correlation with each other. One is uh, deep bug spray, and the other is Perthema bug spray. You put it on your clothes. Uh, generally, you put it on ahead of time, but I'll weigh them both, one ounce for both of them. Sunscreen is a must. Point three. I'm going to go ahead and say one ounce. It's kind of low. I'll probably fill it back up so it'll be one ounce. A lip balm. Point at one ounce. Fair lighter that's not in my stove. Point one. Ink pen. Point one. I don't, it's not measuring below that. So all that stuff together, all that trinkets and stuff there together, just because it was too much to add it all up. This is the heaviest part of it, this flashlight with the extra battery. All that together was 13 ounces. That's not all my first aid kit, hold on. Alright, here's the rest of my here's the rest of my first aid stuff. This is the uh I'll just put it here. Toothpaste, toothbrush, rubber gloves, uh band aid assortment, uh alcohol swabs, the whole nine yards of that and bounce on my table. Okay. 4.5 ounces for the rest of my first aid stuff that wasn't in here already. Emergency blanket, just in case, 1.9 ounces. A titanium spoon, 0.4 ounces. And toiletries, 1.3 ounces. And that should do, oh, of course the toiletries, otherwise I'm using lace. Try and pack it all in this one spot here and get a weight on all these little oddities that you end up bringing along, of which I think all are necessary, but maybe not. So that whole pack of oddities that I'm bringing along is a pretty big pack, as you can see, but it weighs one pound, six ounces for those, that pack of all that first aid, um, lights, pencil pens, Toiletries, um, emergency matches, sunscreen, bug screen, bug stuff. So all that was one point. What did I say? One point six. One point six, basically. One point five. Something. Next up, depending on the weather, another luxury item that I tend to take along because, as I said, I sleep very, very cold. 10 ounces for my down booties. Weather dependent. I bring along a bandana. It should be in my clothing, but I'll throw it on there. One ounce. I bring along a pillow. Luxury item. Inflatable pillow. Six ounces. Should eliminate that, I think. I'm going to weigh my fuel. I haven't, I haven't narrowed down how much fuel I bring, but this is uh, 16 ounces of fuel, and I will at least bring that much for four days. That's a pound, one pound. Uh, I don't know how to weigh the maps, because I won't bring all these. These are all my maps I bring, but I'll weigh roughly what could be. It's hard to get any, too much stuff. 
four and a half ounces. That may be able to cut back because I don't have my maps in here yet, and I'll figure out what I'm going to put in here. I've got maps for two different trips I've taken. Ah, here it is. My uh, down under quilt for my hammock. One pound, point eight ounces. So one pound basically. I don't know if I can even weigh this thing. This is my walking stick and glove and ten ounces. Uh, I have two gloves. One ounce. Eleven ounces for my two gloves, walking stick, and camera holder. So I'll take that along for sure. It's a, it's the uh, Travers Junior aluminum trekking pole. Uh, it does have a twist open type system. Now, that's just a bag. I'm going to switch it out for a trash compactor bag. I don't know what they weigh, you know, less than 0.1 ounce. That I'll put inside for waterproofing. I do bring this along because I have one really bad knee. And if I'm doing some heavy hiking, I have to have something that will keep me from getting hurt. Three ounces to have a knee brace type of thing that I carry along because I have a bad knee. These are my stakes. I only bring four of these, so I'm going to take it apart. This is my tent stake, and I use the same ones for my hammock. And I only use four. So I'm going to weigh four stakes. That's all I'm going to take. Two ounces. I just always keep them together until I go. That way I don't lose them. Luxury item that I haven't decided, haven't made my mind on yet. This is eight ounces. It's a candle that I can take along and have by the side of my hammock for a little light. Uh, may stir off any unwanted animals by my hammock. I don't know, but it's a luxury item, so it'll probably end up being one of the ones that gets dropped. I bring along, I think I'm broke. I just got a new batch here. It's night eyes, uh, much lighter than what I was using before. Three ounces. I bring around something to play with. I'm scooping around with somebody on the trail. Yeah, I know. Little dog toy, right? 0.4 ounces. But if you're out on the trail and you're bored and you're looking for something to play with, haven't decided on these last items. This is my knife. It's a razor. Works just as good as anything else. 0.3 ounces. Saw. I picked this up after the last trek we were on. A couple guys had these. They were really nice. Came in handy. I don't know if I'll bring it or not for sure, but it is 5 ounces. This is my fire starting kit. It has a bunch of the lint from my dryer. Uh, a couple of the Weber cubes soaked in wax, 2.2 ounces. Uh, I bring a plastic bag generally like this. This is about a 4x4 four four section of plastic for sitting underneath my hammock to put my shoes and stuff on, 2.2 ounces. Oh, my whistle. That's about it, really, but the rest of it's not much. 0.4 ounces. That's everything. The rest of this is repeat stuff that I won't be putting in the pack. I just had it out. So, obviously there's places I can cut. A lot of luxury items I can cut. Weather permitting, I could cut some things. But I'm getting down there. I'm going to add it all up and put it all in one box and weigh it all and find out what the total weight is right now. I'll let you know.